Hello everyone, uh, here's uh, Alex from BC Designer and in this video I am going to show you how to uh, add uh, stop light colors to your scorecard that you have in uh, spreadsheets. Uh, that's what we are going to achieve. Uh, as you can see here I have two indicators and if I change uh, the color uh, if I change the, the performance, the color is changing as well. So uh, those of you who know spreadsheets well, uh, probably already know that I'm going to use conditional formatting. Uh, but uh, that's actually was not the main reason why I decided to, uh, to make this video. Uh, what I wanted to uh, discuss beforehand is what should we uh, use the stop lights for? Because uh, if you watched uh, our previous videos where we were building this uh, basic scorecard with these indicators, where we uh, were designing this natural choice indicator, where we uh, were talking about using the weight for uh, the weights for calculate the performance of indicator, uh, there are many things that we can do with the scorecard. And the question is, where should we put the stop lights? Uh, most of the users will place their scorecard on the value of the indicator. And uh, there's nothing wrong about this. And actually, we can do this. Uh, but I see one fundamental problem with that, that you will need to uh, define the stop lights color for each of the indicator. Why? Because they have different measurement scale here. Like uh, lifetime value is measured in dollars and uh, probably the green sector, the green stoplight will be for something that is uh, uh, above uh, $500. Yeah, and net promoter score is measured in percent and uh, the green uh, zone might be somewhere between 85 and 90. Yeah, so, so it's different and um, we can apply stop lights colors to this column, but it will uh, create a lot of unnecessary job for us. Uh, what is a, an alternative in this case? Well, uh, actually, I think in the first video uh, on this topic, on the topic of the KPIs and scorecard and uh, spreadsheets, we have discussed how to convert this values that we cannot compare because they're uh, measured by different measure units, how to convert them into something standard. We discussed how to normalize these metrics. And actually we have performance column with the formula for each indicator that normalizes this value using this scale for each indicator. So basically we converted these measure units into the percent and uh, yeah, for example, for uh, special cases like number of uh, response time, for example, where the uh, less value, where the uh, smaller value means higher performance, we also reflected this in the performance formula. Yeah, so all this logic, all this normalization is now incorporated in the performance formula and the way that we have in the performance column is the value that we need to uh, align our stop lights with. Yeah, so that was my ma main message. Don't uh, link the stop lights to the value field. It won't make any sense. Link them to the performance uh, performance column. And actually, it's uh, just uh, uh, one setup that you do, and then you, you forget about that no need to uh, do any further adjustments. If you do it for value column, you will need to do adjustments for all uh, all values and it's a necessary job. So let's do it. Let's um, do a conditional formatting for performance column. Uh, actually, it's uh, really easy. Uh, in my case, I picked the conditional formatting uh, command and format menu. And I just pick here the uh, the rules that I want to uh, see 
uh, for this for this option. So there is color scale if you prefer. I prefer to use three uh, to create three three rules for uh, for these cells. And well, for me personally, it's uh, it's easier to implement. So we need to pick. Uh, uh, for example, when you greet us then eighty uh, percent will give us a uh, green light. Yeah, we're talking about percent, so we need to put here zero point eight eighty percent done. Then we can add another rule that will give us a, a green stop light. Uh, we need to pick here the option greater than we have it less than. It's for red stop light. Let's create for red stop light first. For example, it will be less than 30%. And we also need to create a rule yellow between 30% and 80%. Okay. So it's between 30 and 80. And we'll assign a yellow color to it. Okay, ready. So let's let's test it. Uh, I'm going to change, uh, for example, uh, this value uh, on that promoter score to to percent, and I have I have here red zone, uh, twenty five percent still red. Yeah, and some big number. I'm in the green zone. Now, uh, what's the benefit of this? Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we're measuring here on different scale. Yeah, so. Uh, 85 is green. Uh, I have here 85% that gives me a uh, green zone. But if I change, uh, for example, 8 LTV into 85 dollars, it's not green zone yeah? because in uh, in the in, uh, in the performance in percent, it's just 28%. So that's the idea. And uh, the thing that I uh, mentioned before, here we have a response time indicator, and now the value is just one hour. Yeah? But still, I'm in the green zone. Why? Uh, we have discussed it in a different video because this indicator has a different performance formula. If you compare the performance formula for this indicator, it's optimized for maximization. So, higher value means higher performance. And here, higher value will uh, mean slower performance. So, if we respond to customer service queries longer, if it takes us a long time to respond, then the performance will decrease, and respectively, the stop light will become uh, the stop light is was red. So that's it. Uh, that's how we do it. Do it on the performance column. Now, uh, for those who have PC designer uh, software, or for those who downloaded the free version of BC designer, which is called BC Design Light, you have the stop lights there. Yeah. This, these are the screenshots from BC Design Online, the freeware uh, tool, and you have here the stop lights. So we don't need to, uh, let me switch to cloud-based version. So you don't need to uh, do any any settings here. You already have them by by default. Yeah, I'm changing it to some low value, and I see this small stop light is changing. And as I mentioned to you, we linked the stop light to the performance, not to the value. You also see this uh, stop light color here on this chart. Basically, uh, this arrow shows you where uh, the current stop light is. And well, the software gives you a little bit more freedom in terms of uh, stop light setup. What you can do, you can go to tools menu and choose this option, stop light setting. Yeah. And uh, let me. Let me do it for LTV because it will be more interesting. Yeah, so here you have a possibility to customize stop light colors for this very indicator. Yeah, and uh, here on the right, you have some values, but uh, this is for your information only because the stop light will be actually linked to the performance figures. So when I change here the number, I put here like 10% performance. The software tells me it tells me that uh, okay, this 10% performance uh, is uh, if converted to value, it is uh, in in this case it's uh, 30 dollars. Yeah, because we're doing it for LTV.
So that's the idea uh, for the stop lights and the software. Again, uh, give it a try. Uh, if you're a user of BC Designer uh, software, uh, it will be actually very easy for you to deal with the stop lights. Or if you don't have a BC Designer license, just uh, download the BC Designer Lite, the free version of BC Designer for Windows. And uh, for Windows, and there you will have the stop light settings. Uh, and that's it. So, three options for you the BC Designer Online with subscription, the freeware BC Designer, and of course, uh, the starting point that we have uh, mentioned in the beginning the uh, spreadsheet software, where uh, building some uh, stop lights is actually very easy with conditional formatting. That's all for this video. See you in a different uh, video lessons for Excel scorecards.